Yeah, so whenever I have friends who ask me about back issues, because I've certainly had my share of them, I have two words for them, Brian Brunk, <laughs> period, the end. I mean, I've been diagnosed with, you know, L5, slip disc, L4, this, it's all gibber jabberish to a point to where they've had me, had me thinking I needed to go underneath the, the knife again, which I had surgery done back in the 90s, and it's just ridiculous. They're, they're misdiagnosing this all the time, and what I always said was not my back, it was something, a muscle I had pulled. You found out, and since I've been having treatment from you, it's been, there's no other place I'd ever go, and it's the only, the only therapy you should have because the knife is not an option. It should never be an option. And I just think that these doctors, after they go through a process and they've eliminated A, B, C, and D, E's their answer. E meaning go to the knife, and it's just not necessary, nor is it you know warranted, frankly. Um, now you were you, you're, when you came here, your symptoms were you had radiating pain into the glute, the, under the glute, it skipped the thigh, the lower back, and then you had numbness and tingling in your right. foot, well, right? And in the early part of it, it was right down my entire sciatic, it spread okay. from my right side of my back, down my thigh, into my calf. And then, as time went on, it diminished in the thigh, but it was here, and then in my right buttocks. Right. And every time I saw a physical therapist, an acupuncturist, or a, we'll call it a back doctor, uh, they would say, oh, it's your L5, you've herniated a disc, they had me under, what was that, uh, they gave me a... Uh, epidural? Epidural, that lasted about an hour. Um, and no matter what they did, they they couldn't seem to relieve my agony and my and my this, my stress of the back. And they kept saying to me that, that they thought I would need surgery. And then I saw you, and within I think we, what did we do six treatments. Like I that, saw yeah. results. I felt results within the first one, but by the time I had the sixth one, it was gone. Yeah. Now I haven't seen you now and four months, five months maybe, yeah. and you know, I still have a little stiffness time and time again, but I stretch and you know, I use a little, what they call the medicine ball, just to kind of pancake it out. Uh -huh. But the bottom line is, it was never my back. It was always the muscle in my buttocks below my back, but they yeah. kept, they wouldn't listen. I'm saying it's this, it's this. Mm. Well, when you came in, you mm. went around, you did your exploratory, and yeah. here's where it hurts, where it's hurts, and mm. you, we were able to pan that. I equate it when I explain this to somebody who is, what's your back problem about? And they'll say, well, what was yours about? It was like I had a size of a baseball in my butt that had it been, it was like concrete that was leaning on all these other nerves and flaring it up, and you were able to diminish that down to it might be what's left the size of a marble. So it's really about blowing out the, what the doctors tell you and getting on a table with you and having you do your exploratory thing and getting that drill out <laughs> and finding out where it's at because there's only two. I, I, people ask me all the time, like, give me your phone number just so you're wasting your time going anywhere else.